Okay, so we're going to look over on the Google Docs and we'll just quickly, one by one, take a look and see if anyone has something interesting or different. Hmm? Okay, so we'll begin with Celia here, first on our tabs. And Celia, do you want to quickly just tell us what you've done here? You have level one, level two, level three. Mm. So these are like outline levels, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to explain a little bit? Mm -hmm. The first, the first level is the main point we what we what we are doing, and the level two, and the level two is the uh, steps we are do, going to do, and level level three is something what somewhat in our mind. Okay, it's so so level one is the like an overall topic. So for example, stopping yeah. at the stand, choosing, and paying. And then, so each one of these is very different, and then they have sub subcategories, right? Yeah. Okay. So stopping an ice cream stand, and then here yeah. you decide you have the attraction and decided. You can tell you're a marketing student. You say attraction and decide. So this is like the this is like the consumer decision process, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then when they decide, they have things to decide, such as the color, the smell, and the money. Memory. We, huh? oh, they, memory, we yeah. call their memory. So yeah. the smell is like a sense, right? Yeah. Is that right? Uh, yeah, a sense. Why was smell special? Mm, I I think I think that ice cream stands will uh, provide somewhat like sweet smell. Oh, okay. Yeah. And right. attracts sharp children. Okay, that's a good idea. And we when we lots of ice cream stands use sound though to attract people. <laughs> like a bell, or in Singapore they have a special thing they. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Um. Yeah. It's very popular, so everybody knows when it's coming, right? Okay. And then in the in the U.S. they use a they use a music. And it's the music they use is the music for the Taiwan trash trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So um. foreigners. Americans, when they come to Taiwan, they always say, how strange, an ice cream truck coming. <laughs> no. And everybody's taking their trash to the ice cream truck. Okay, but the, the point is very good. So you're doing this based on the psychology, kind of consumer psychology. Yeah. yeah oh, very good, interesting idea. Okay, and then they choose their flavors, and then they come down and pay their money all the way to the end. Yeah. Okay, I think that's a good, uh, very clear. all the way down to consuming, right? Yeah. Cleaning up. How about trash? Any trash? <coughs> no. So you're just using the consumer purchasing process. That's very good, interesting. Okay, good, I like that. Okay, Alan, let's take a look over here. Yours is a little bit different layout. You wanna to explain to us uh, what this is all about? I did a separate into different levels. But You've got A, B, C column here, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. I list it in the sequence that we will have. Okay. The first one is looking at ice cream, so you will be attracted by its appearance and colors. Then you will decide to what you want to have it or not. Looking, looking uh, at its colors, the first choosing. One. So how how does this work? Does it go? The first A1, one. A1, A2, A3? No, no, no. A1, A2, A3, A4. Uh-huh. And uh -huh. then B. It goes A1, A2, A3, A4. So A1 is shopping. And then you divide it lower into what does shopping mean? Shopping is look at the ice cream, attracted by its colors, deciding whether or not to have it, right? Mm -hmm. And then B is an overall topic, choosing. Mm -hmm. So this is attraction, this is choosing, this mm. is paying, right? Mm. And is there, is there more over here? Let me move my... And consumption, eating, right? Mm. Uh, okay, I mean eating has different parts. Okay, <laughs> all right. Mm. So, s similar, similar approach, only you, you've done it vertically rather than mm. horizontally, right? Mm. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. Okay, Bo? <laughs> for me, for the first step, shopping at ice cream, I like 
if I be the owner shop, I will hang about the colorful of my shop, uh -huh. and then I create my logo or put the hero mascot, vice cartoon mascot or something okay. for for persuade the okay. uh, student to come to my shop first, uh -huh. and <laughs> their family will follow them to my shop. Okay, uh -huh. so this is like attraction. Yes, attraction, uh -huh. and for example. Um, the students or the consumer, they already bought uh, an ice cream and have like eating in front of my shop and for the other people, oh it's no delicious or something and try to order or try to taste my okay. ice cream shop. All right. All right. Would you pay, do you pay them money to stand outside your shop and eat? <laughs> <laughs> you pay for Is that what you mean? You pay them to do that? You pay the ice cream. The first thing I think my, uh, my shop um, I mean, atmosphere first, and the I have to pay for standing, yeah. eating okay. in front of my shop. In front, okay, mm -hmm. all right, okay, very good. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Actually, I like that idea. Okay, okay, and then payment, and then consumption, right? Yes. Okay. I think a little bit on the. It's a little bit harder to see. I think, I think Celia and Alan both thought of an idea. Their idea was the, con the consumer decision process. So they use a model in their brain. The model was first you, you have a need, and then you, you look for alternatives, and then you select an alternative, and then you judge it, and then you consume it. So they're thinking like that. So I think in yours, is you don't really have a clear model, right? Just have some action. So it's a little bit harder to follow. So, it's a, something to pay attention to. All right, Alice? Mm -hmm. Alice, you want to introduce a little bit? Yeah, first, I think um, if we want to shop in the ice cream because the weather is so hot, so we may look for something to eat and uh, find a stand. Okay, so your A1, A2, A3, these are steps, and then B is another. Yeah. another like heading, right? So A is a heading, B is a heading, C is a heading. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And when we choose in the letter, I think it's, I imagine that it would be my experience if uh, we will ask to test different flavors and uh, I think that almost We'll have 20 flavors over there, and then we will discuss it with my friends. Okay, so you talk with your friends about it, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you pay the money. And I, I think maybe I will forget to bring my money, so I borrow it. You maybe forget your money, so you need to borrow some money from friends. Yeah. And then you'll consume it, and then you'll walk to your destination. So. Um, this seems to me to be a little bit similar to Bo's problem, is that I look at it, but it doesn't seem to have a kind of main point. You kind of follow me? Yeah. Like when I look at Celia's and Alan's, even though they don't say it clearly, it does seem to have uh, a main point, and their main point is the consumer decision process, right? So I think this is this is okay, it's good, it shows all the steps, it breaks them down, but it does lack a little bit of a main idea. Okay, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Let's explain your approach here. Um, I pretend the ice cream stand is uh, beside the park, so the children after they play around, they will feel hot and thirsty. So you're the same way, right? So A, yes. one, then two, then three, then four, right? And then B is another yeah. category, okay? So first you have hot and thirsty, so this means you create a need, mm -hmm. right? In marketing, we call that need, right? And then you want to drink something, so this is like a desire, right? To, to, to satisfy that need. But they, but they saw the ice cream stand and okay. attract by the colorful sign. Colorful signage attracts them, right? Yeah. Okay, so then this is again like the consumer consumption approach, okay? And then how do you choose your flavors? Uh, 
there are many flavors and uh, mm -hmm. the sales clerk advise children to uh, buy some different, uh, some special mm -hmm. flavor. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And then you pay your money? Yes. And then you're eating, right? Yeah. One thing I noticed about your outline is that some of your categories, like for example eating, have a lot of detail. Like eating you even include prevent melting. But in your paying money, you don't have much detail. <laughs> so I kind of wonder, you know, how are you... Because remember what our, the goal of this exercise is to think of the system. What's the system of your presentation, right? What's the system? So if the system <coughs> is sometimes detailed, sometimes not detailed, it's like, hmm? confuse me, what, what, what is the system, you see? So remember, the goal is to draw a map, how to get from start to end. So this is a little bit confusing because sometimes it's very detailed and sometimes it's not detailed. So you gotta watch out for that, I think, be more consistent. Okay, good. All right, next is Amber. Amber's over here. Okay. Amber, you want to explain what you've done here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're st you let me stop you there. So A, B, and C are kind of, and D and E are kind of what? Are these categories? A is, oh, you've done it another <laughs> way. You've done it this way, right? Yeah. Okay, so yours is 2A is a category, and then 2B is a step inside that yeah. category. Okay, so your, your, your process is 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, and then 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D, right? So the beginning is stop an ice cream stand. So you see, in Amber's case, she did not talk about the weather or getting thirsty or anything like this. She just go right there, look at the ice cream thinking, ask the price. So you're describing very much what you observe, right? I see them look at it, I see them thinking about it, I see them ask, the pri ask for the money from their parents. The parents make a decision, <laughs> right? So you're looking at it very different from, say, Celia and Alan, and even different than, um, than Alice. You're, you see, so your system's different. Right? That's, not, that's not bad or good, this is another way. So even such a simple thing as, as this exercise, there are different ways to see it. Okay, then you, uh, row three here, choose, choose flavors, right? Yes. Ask about the flavors, then you actually, what is this? These are the actual options. Uh, 3C is the options. Chocolate, strawberry, or is this the choice? No, the clerk say what kind of ice cream. Okay, so these are the options. Yes, these are the, what we call in marketing, what we call the choice set. Mm -hmm. Choice set, right? Okay, okay, and then 3D, choose, so you make your choice. Uh, 3 E is wait. Yes. Just, just <laughs> wait. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. <laughs> just wait. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Then you're done waiting. Okay. After you're done waiting, then you, in 4A, you pay your money. Right? And then the parent pays the money. So, can everybody see? It's a little bit hard to see, I know. But Amber's approach is much more observing what the behavior is rather than, uh, say, uh, Alice's idea, which is, or even Kevin. Kevin said, the weather is hot, you're thirsty, right? So this is much more, this is like a, uh, what would you say, subjective, objective, or internal, external perspective, right? For 
kind of environment psychology. Okay, very good. It's good to see different ways. Okay, next is Paul. Paul, you want to give us a little introduction here about your approach? If we look here, we can see you've got the A, B, C. So your A is one category, your B is one category, C is one category, D is one category, right? Okay. You want to explain a little bit? Some children uh, feel thirsty, but they have feel money. So ah. they stay. So they stopping at the uh, ice cream stop. Step. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they see many people. To, uh, in line out to buy ice cream. Okay. They think ice cream may be cheap or, de or delicious. Okay. So they think how long they could wait for previous con con consumers to buy ice cream. Okay. My question is, uh, let me see. So your perspective, again, your perspective is from the consumer psychology perspective. You're thinking about what do the consumers feel, what do the consumers think. You see? Feel. The ice cream is good. Uh, I'm thirsty. Uh, okay. But one question in your approach is you begin everything by saying thirsty and few money. So what? What happens? Did they buy? Um. <laughs> you, you see? So you begin with a problem, but you don't have a... They have some money, but not, not too much. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. So they, they choose some ice cream would be Affordable. cheaper and uh, uh -huh. delicious. Uh, okay, I see your point. So your point is deciding which one, yeah. right? So you see, that's a good... So Paul's idea was, I want to talk about how they decide how to spend their money and get what they want. But in your steps, you didn't really make that so clear, right? So you want to add in here some of the things they did to help them get a good value, I guess what you're looking for, value for money, right? Uh, in American English, we say good value. In British English, they say value for money. So you, how much do you spend, how much do you get? You see what I'm saying? So I like your approach. And when you begin a presentation, this is one way. Some of you in your research writing, you begin with a question. I think one or two of you, not too many. This is an interesting approach. But you have to make sure if you begin with a question, you quickly give an answer. Otherwise, people are like, huh? Right? So I like that approach, but then you need to tell us, how did they do it? How did they do that and still save enough money or, or not spend more than they have? Okay, Eric? Eric, you got A, B, C, and D. So you have categories are A, B, C, and D, right? Yeah. And so stopping, choosing, paying, eating. When I see this, this looks very much like the consumer decision process model, right? Okay, you want to explain a little bit? Um, children are greedy. Yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, children are greedy. And uh, uh, a lot of the writer is cool, but they are a, li a, li a little bit thirsty and curiosity. Okay. And when they, they are choosing the flavors, and, and they are terrible flavors, just like durian or the curry. Durian. Don't you like durian ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no? You don't like durian ice cream? Can you buy durian ice cream in Taiwan? Uh, in, in Costco. <laughs> in Costco they have durian ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> when did that begin? <laughs> Garlic ice cream? That's oh. disgusting. You may buy that in Macau. Durian ice cream in Singapore is so popular that there's always a line of people, always. There's never not a line 
at a durian ice cream store. There's always a line. It's so popular. Okay, well maybe, I, would, I can't imagine durian ice cream is very popular in Taiwan, but maybe, or maybe there's enough international people in Taiwan they like it. Okay, so, so what's your point here? Is it hard to decide? Is that what you mean? Uh, it's a terrible experience. Mm, it's a bad experience, bad really. Experience. So when they pay money, <coughs> they're so expensive, just like a robber. So <laughs> <laughs> and <coughs> they they regret oh. uh, the virtuous connective disorders. Oh, okay. And, <laughs> and I know it's very hard to eat, and because there are somebody want to punish these children. <laughs> Maybe their parents <laughs> they are they uh, they they cheat, cheat their children and uh, another <laughs> so they, the story tells us not to uh, don't be greedy and look before you <laughs> you have to to look and uh, the to to be careful and consider everything before yeah, you Yeah, consider everything and uh, be careful it's Maybe the true humanity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. greedy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Eric, you okay? <laughs> Fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just cold. I could not. Eric's perspective is very different. Now, here we have a completely different approach. What did Eric do? He decided to tell a story. So, by dividing it into the main categories, but then he tells a story. The main categories do look very much like the consumer consumption decision process, right? I see, th I know I need something, I want something, I desire something, I have a set I can choose from, I choose one, I pay, I ex have exchange experience, and then I consume the product. But what Eric's done is very interesting, right? Eric's actually told a story because he's, how do he tell a story? This does not, this is not really very different from, from Celia's categories or from from even uh, Alice's categories are similar, right? It's not that different, but look what he did. He attached adjectives to the words. Like, it's not just children, but they're greedy children, right? They're not just children, but they're thirsty, thirsty children, right? Um, Kevin did that a little bit, right? But here's even more. And then the weather is cool. I think in Kevin's you mentioned the weather was, was hot or something, or thirsty, right? So same idea, only even deeper. And then here something bad happens. So in this way, each category has a kind of big point that keeps your attention. That's a great idea. So the, here is the children are greedy. Here is there's a bad experience. Here they regret their purchase. And then here you have a moral of the story, right? Okay, now, that's a great idea, a great way to keep interest, for sure. It's very different, very unique. However, one thing I would suggest is the main point comes at the end, right? But we like the main point to be at the beginning, right? Now, that's hard here because this is an outline of a, of a behavior, right? But what I'm saying is you need to somehow then take that put it over there, and then begin your story, your presentation, then you end and repeat it. That would be perfect. Right? Of course, you, you, I, this is just our assignment, right? so you can't really do that, but this is just like a presentation, it's a great example, just like a presentation, only now if we could get the main point at the beginning, so you begin by saying, I wanna tell you, some, I wanna tell you a story about the consumer decision process today, and the moral of this story is, look before you leap. So let me begin to tell you about some children who <coughs> were a little bit greedy, and they were thirsty and curious, and the weather was cool or hot. <laughs> and then they did this, and then they did this, and then this happened, you see? So that's a great example of something very short that we can create a nice little outline for. I like that a lot. Okay, Eric's very uh, uh, different. Very good. Okay, Joanna. Now here are a little bit different layout, right? You want to explain to me what is A, B, C here? Uh, it's look like a flow chart. Oh, okay, let me, let me scroll out a little bit here. If I can. Oops, I 
too far. Divided to there it is. five steps and two decision time for the first step. Okay, wait, wait. You have to explain to me slower. <laughs> I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so you have A is step one, B is decision, mm -hmm. C is step two, D is step two. Step, D is step three. Step three. Okay, so how how should I look at this? Uh, start from step one. Start from step one. <laughs> Watching the consumers who are eating ice cream in front of them. So they're seeing somebody eating. Right. Okay, then they make a decision. decision. So this is part of step one. Mm -hmm. Is that what you mean? Decision is part of step one. Uh, decision is inside step one. Or this is step 1.2. Uh, <laughs> Am I giving you pressure? <laughs> no, in last. Including step one. Mm -hmm. Step one just watching. Step one is watching. Yes. And then B is decision, decision. And that's inside step one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then step two is another step. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then so step two is? Choosing chocolate or vanilla as their favorite flavor. Okay. So they make a choice. Right? right? Make a choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then? They Asking money from daddy or mommy. Okay, they get their money, mm -hmm. all right. And then there's then a decision. The decision is inside step three also. That must be the parents' decision? Yes, parents' decision. Okay, all right. The parents uh, agree to pay the money. Okay. Then the Anybody children. Of them? Okay. And then step four is then the children. eating, consuming, right? And have fun with okay, and then have fun. Okay, your story is a happy ending. Okay, so I would say for Joanna, um, a little bit uh, different approach again. And I think the key that we see here is that it's not always easy to think of how to make the categories clear. So in your case, the problem is the, we're trying to make a, you know, a map mm -hmm. from beginning to end, and you you have to make the map easy for people to go to the next step, the next step, the next step. And I think you is a little bit confusing. That's not to say that you don't have a good idea. You may have a very good idea. The problem is not your idea. The problem is people who are listening can they understand your idea? You see. So in this case, a little bit hard to follow. And I think you're saying it's like a like a Gantt chart. Is that what you're saying? It's like a flow chart. So it's like a just flows this way. Mm -hmm. A flow chart. A flow chart. How does a flow chart work? Doesn't a flow chart have it's many like square and diamond? It, it, right. It, yes. If this, then yes. that. If, if not, not yeah. right. But there's no there's no branching, is there? Mm -hmm. Right. A little bit. So anyway. I mean, if you wanted to do a branching, you could do something like put a yes, no, and then you have one up here, one down here, yes. and then one yes, no, one down there, one up there. You could do that. Mm -hmm. I understand that idea. That would work good. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, so the key is to make your map, to make your system easy for the audience to follow, right? Okay, so in this example, we, we spent some time on this, and it is an easy exercise. It's not a hard exercise. That's not the point. The point is, in this small class with just, what are we, 10 people, 11 people, you can see just with the, this small number of people, we have at least three major different approaches, right? We have the internal perspective, the external perspective, we have a storytelling perspective, we have maybe a flow, a flow decision process perspective. So different, three, every three or four people can have a different approach. So it's important to come up with a kind of system. So what I want to do now is we're going to take a short break. Then we want to look at some examples of presentations and look at some, some bad example and maybe some good example. Okay, so let's take a break.